everybody, I'm Judy and I'm addicted to puzzles. Today I have a pretty big puzzle haul for you. Um, I haven't done a puzzle haul in I think about four months. So these are puzzles that I've bought between I would say April and uh, puzzles that I've gotten just yesterday. So uh, grab your coffee, grab a drink, whatever, and let's just get started. I'm also going to answer this big, huge question of how many puzzles I have in my collection. So stick around. I'm going to give you that total of um, pretty much my to-do pile, not my full collection because I didn't actually calculate like the other puzzles I have that I've already completed. So just my to-do pile. It's been a, um, I've had a lot of people asking me how many puzzles are in this room. After I go through all the puzzles, we will find out how many puzzles I actually have in my room. So stay tuned. So the first puzzles I have are from the play group. Um, back in May, they had a sale and they were uh, cleaning, I guess, clearing out their warehouse. So um, this puzzle is 5,000 pieces. It's the gradient from the play group. They were having a warehouse sale to clean out their warehouse. So they had a fabulous sale. This puzzle usually runs for 150 US dollars. Um, when it was on sale, it was 100 and free shipping. So I had to get it. And I haven't had a chance to do it yet because I really wanted to do a lot of Disney puzzles this summer. Um, and as you can see, I have started the 40,000 piece. This is the second section. I'm almost done. I just have the background and the border stars and then I'll be done with the second section, which is the nineties. Um, so I keep, I've been posting shorts, but I do plan to do a long form video on this whole puzzle. Um, I'll probably do one when I get the first five done and then one when I have the full puzzle done. So just be on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, I will have shorts with close ups of it and, um, and pictures on my Instagram and Facebook. So back to the playgroup design. Um, I did see on Instagram yesterday that they are having another sale. So this puzzle um, will be on sale for 99 US dollars and free shipping. So if you've been wanting this 5,000 piece puzzle, next week will be the perfect time. 5,000 pieces, full gradient. I've seen people put it together and I, can't wait to do it but it'll probably be next year because I'm gonna finish this and then it'll be Halloween and Christmas um, and then I have a, another puzzle I'm gonna start the Keith Herring puzzle right after Christmas so sometime after that I will do this puzzle because it's gonna be amazing along with that one I bought a smaller 1,000 piece puzzle this one is called um, vibrating colors and it has um, the gradient and then it has a bunch of dots. So it kind of has two different color schemes going on. You can see like this is yellow, but it's also the background of it is um, blue and purple. So it should be a pretty interesting puzzle. I might do this one before the 5,000 piece to practice. Um, we'll see, I might just jump into the 5,000 piece later next year. Or I might even just do this one on my all for jig puzzle board because I have a big puzzle going in here that I'm time lapsing. And then I've had a smaller puzzle going on in the living room on my all for jig board. Um, so that way I can do two puzzles at the same time because these ones generally take a little while. So uh, be on the lookout for at least pictures, shorts, or possibly this puzzle very soon. The next puzzle is from Unified Pieces. So Unified Pieces, I see unboxing of their puzzles all the time. I've heard nothing but amazing things about Unified Pieces and they have stickers on their box. I won a giveaway on Instagram when someone was doing a 24 hour puzzle-a-thon for the longest day to support Alzheimer's. Um, and I was super excited that I won the Unified Pieces giveaway because I've been wanting their puzzles, but I was kind of like, I'm not going to buy a lot of puzzles this year. Um, 
So when I won the giveaway, I was super excited. So let's open it because I know there's fabulous things inside this box. First thing is a sticker. It says unified pieces. Okay, so the first, this is just the shipping label, but there's a nice sticker that says, uh, thank you for your order. There's a note on the shipping label. It says, Judy, hope you enjoy your puzzles. Love me's. And there's a note from the store um, with a little wrap. I mean, the people that run this, me's, they're so nice. I mean, their Instagram, they're everything. They are just the nicest people. And I've seen a lot of unboxing videos and I was just their swag alone in the box i'm like i really need to order these puzzles and i've heard their puzzles are absolutely incredible um so here's a, a a pin a button you know the old school buttons unified pieces more stickers um this is i don't know if it's a magnet or it's a a puzzle shaped business card. How cool is that? That's the coolest business card I've ever seen. More stickers. These are going on my laptop. Puzzling all day. Puzzle addict. And proud of it. That's me right there. Um, so a whole bunch of stickers. And we love stickers, right? Um, you know, more unified pieces stickers, another sparkly unified pieces sticker, coasters. That's perfect because I always have a drink in here so I can put them on a coaster. So the first puzzle is called going through portals. I've seen this on Instagram. It has so much cool details on it. Um, I do plan to do this one very soon and I will post a lot of pictures and close-ups and of course shorts. I'm just gonna say I love when puzzle companies wrap the puzzles because it's it's like Christmas. The um, happiest puzzles on earth store she wraps every puzzle and besides her this is the second company company I've seen actually wrap the puzzles and I think it's so fun to open a puzzle, you know? I mean, it's literally like my birthday all over again. I love the black paper, by the way. I love wearing black. The second puzzle we have is called Color Bliss. Uh, look how beautiful this is. I've seen this so many times and I knew that this was one that I was definitely going to get. Um, and as soon as I won that giveaway, I was like, yes, Color Bliss. So let's open it. I love boxes that are magnetic. Um, I hope this just becomes a new thing because I love the magnetic boxes. And I knew this was a thing with unified pieces, but their puzzles come in a felt bag. Like this, it, it, no, no plastic, it's a felt bag. So this is a cardboard stand. So you can prop up the picture as you puzzle. That is so cool. And there is also another poster. This is really cool. This is the first time I've seen something like this in a puzzle. Um, and I had no idea this was in there. I knew there were stickers, but this is super cool. And there's a poster also. And like I said, it comes in a felt bag which I think is so amazing. And these pieces, um, they're pretty thick pieces and they're different shapes. So they're not your standard grid cut type of pieces. Yeah, they're definitely not standard grid cut pieces. They're in different, really cool shapes. So I'm really excited to put this puzzle together. And I love the fact that it comes in the bag. They really, uh, Unified Pieces has really put thought into their product and I can tell just by feeling the pieces that it's going to be an amazing puzzling experience. Thank you Unified Pieces for sending these over and for sponsoring 
the longest day, which does support Alzheimer's uh, research. Uh, so thank you. So the next puzzles I have are from Gem Turt. Uh, you know, I love Gem Turt with their squiggly puzzle pieces. Um, so first they have um, a new set of puzzles and there's a lot more than just these three designs. And I've actually already put these together because as soon as I got them, I was like, I had to put them, I just had to put them together. Um, these ones with the bright colors typically go obviously much faster than the clear puzzles that, you know, you can't tell what's up or what's down, even though I love those puzzles. But these ones go so much faster and they're very vibrant and they're very beautiful. So these puzzles have the magnetic box also. Um, so like I said, I hope this is becoming like a new trend because I absolutely love uh, these, these magnetic boxes. So this has the squiggly pieces. They're very thick and Compared to the other ones that I have, um, these ones are actually 400 pieces now. So I'm super excited that they have um, like a larger piece count and then they have their 300 piece puzzles. And they also have these puzzles. Now this puzzle is, um, it's plywood and it's normal grid cut pieces, but the design itself is made of dots. So I did one, it's called the butterfly, and basically the whole image is made up of dots. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but the image is blurry, which it's how it's meant to be, um, but it's the whole image is made of dots. I have a couple of shorts videos on the butterfly so you can see it really up close or check out my Instagram and Facebook and I have pictures on there. Um, but the way they created the whole design and this lighthouse, um, they're just incredible. They're very difficult though. This one was very difficult. I didn't do it like all in one sitting. I had it, um, I think I did it probably over a week, over a week time span. I don't know how many hours or anything it took. I don't usually time myself when I do these harder puzzles, but in the end, it's beautiful. I haven't taken it apart yet, but it's kind of in a pile of puzzles I've completed, but I will do a video you know, showing you how you can pick it up because these ones are very sturdy. You could pick it up, no problem whatsoever. You could pick up a huge section of pieces, no problem. They're very good quality. As are these. These ones obviously won't pick up a, a pickup challenge because they don't fully interlock. Um, but just the squiggly pieces and these beautiful designs that they've created, they're amazing puzzles. And with the... <laughs> I love that. Okay, so Gemturt, G-E-M-T-U-R-T. I will have a link to all of these in my description. The next puzzles that I have are from Zen Chalet. These three puzzles are from their brand new collection that just came out a week ago. This is a 500 piece wooden puzzle and it's called Golden Kingdom. It's gonna be a tough one with all the black. Um, this one is a bit dark, but I just find it beautiful. Um, it's 500 pieces. With the 500 piece puzzles, there's they're square. There's a ton of whimsies in these puzzles. Um, if you've seen the elephant one, I have posted on Facebook and Instagram, or the one called Epic Forest or Landscape. They are all the square 500 piece puzzles, and they're. They're all beautiful. This one is the Golden Kingdom. This next one is also 500 pieces and it's called Fairy Tale. It 
Isn't that pretty? And the third and final one I got was called, it's 500 pieces and it's called Blooming Path. Now I think all five of these are going to have their own challenges. This one being dark. This one has a lot of green. Uh, this one, I don't think this one will be too hard. It just, it has a lot of, um, it's a little dark and a little light at the same time. But I think they're all three absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm not going to dump the whole puzzle out because I don't want to dump it out on my puzzle. Um, but here's a little whimsy. It's a frog. Like super adorable. Um, their whimsies are some of the cutest whimsies I've seen in any, in any puzzle. Here's a little squirrel. And they smell so good. Um, I know at the bottom there is a canvas bag so that you can um, put the pieces in when you're done. I will put the links to these um, in the description of this video. Okay, so the next box we have is from Sunshine Puzzles. Sunshine Puzzles is from overseas. And every time I had looked for these gradient puzzles, they were either out of stock on one of them or two of them. I couldn't find all three of them together. And I'm pretty sure it's Puzzledly here in the U.S. that sells the Sunshine Puzzles. Puzzles Canada sells the Sunshine Puzzles now also. When I purchased these, um, I actually... I don't know why I just decided last week to um, look at the sunshine puzzles and um, they were all in stock like every single one so I was super excited so let's see what I got okay more stickers it's like sticker day and a thank you card from sunshine puzzles okay so the first thing I really bought was this cute little 500 piece Merry Christmas puzzle not that I needed any more Christmas puzzles, but I was looking at this one and I was like, that is super cute. And it's going to be a pretty quick puzzle. So if I just want to do something, you know, kind of fast, that's adorable. Uh, the Merry Christmas puzzle from Sunshine Puzzle. I think it's, um, I don't think I have any just cute art Christmas puzzles. So this one is just super cute. These are wrapped. It's like my birthday again. All right, let's see what's in. So this one is called Wild Cherry. It's just abstract design. It's a thousand pieces. Um, I love how it has the different, you know, sections. So this one I think would be fun challenge to speed puzzle because I think it's going to go pretty fast. Um, and I might actually try that. I might try speed puzzling uh, this one just to, just to see. I don't speed puzzle thousand piece puzzles very often, um, but I think this one with the different colored sections would be fun to speed puzzle. Okay. Here's another look on the back without the logo. So you have cherries and just abstract design. It's really cool. This one is called Ice Ice Baby. Um, when I saw that, this is a set of three. So when I saw this puzzle or, or this set, I knew I wanted it because the gradient, it has just a simple little design in the middle. Um, I love gradient puzzles. And I felt like this whole series is going to just be fun. So this is the first one and it's like, you know, yeah. So that's the first one. The second one is simply called fries. And yes, it just has fries and the little, uh, the little spoon or straw says sunshine puzzles. I love these. They're so simple and they're just, they're colorful. I just, I don't know. Um, uh, they're simple, they're colorful. I think they're gonna be really fun to puzzle. And I don't think they're gonna take a long time. 
I know that the whole top is blue, but it's a gradient blue. So I think it'll be, um, I just think they'll be fun. I don't think they're gonna be super challenging. I think they're just gonna be a blast. And I really might not get to these until next summer, uh, just because they seem like the perfect summer puzzle. And summer is almost over here, so. Okay, the last one, this is actually the one that I wanted with this whole set. And this was the one that was out of stock most of the time. So this is called Manhattan. And it just has a nice cool summer drink. And this is the one that made me want all these puzzles. Um, so I'm probably not going to do, like I said, I'm, I might not do these until summer. We'll see. But aren't they, I, I just feel like these are the perfect late spring, early summer puzzles to puzzle. If you're in the U.S., I would definitely check out the Puzzles Canada website. Uh, they have these, they have a ton of brands on their website. And if you order over a certain amount, it's free shipping. So you can't go wrong. I mean, they're like the, I feel like they're the biggest puzzle store in, the, in all of North America. And they actually might be now, <laughs> I'm not sure. I know these are gonna be a blast and I will be doing this one in December. I might even do it on Thanksgiving. Just a quick puzzle snack to get you in the holiday mood. So the next brand that I have is from Reverie. This beautiful puzzle I have hanging here is from Reverie. I know I will be hanging one of these on my wall next to this one. And the first one that I will definitely be hanging is called Witching Together. Um, this puzzle is so cute. I love witches and everything witch themed. I love Salem. So this puzzle was, when I first saw this one, this is the puzzle that I knew I was gonna need to order something from their new collection. And isn't it cute? I just absolutely love this puzzle. Witching together. And Reverie is also on the Puzzles Canada website. So, I mean, when I say that they have almost every brand available now, I'm really not kidding. And um, when you buy, like if you're in the U.S., they do have, Reverie has a warehouse in um, the United States now. But if you want to do like multiple brands, definitely check out Puzzles Canada. Okay, so this is Witching Together. This next one is called Cozy Nook. And I love the forest animals in here. She's reading books in this super cozy place. I just want to breed with her, with the fo you know, with the foxes. It's super, I love the art in these reverie puzzles. And each of their stories represent, um, their book, they're all book themed. So, you know, they have their spell books. She's reading in a cozy nook with foxes. Um, you know, she's reading with books floating around her. They all have some sort of book theme. And if you like books and you love puzzles, these are probably the best puzzles you can get. To mix the two together. Okay, so the third puzzle is super cool. This is a Halloween advent calendar. I have never done a countdown to Halloween advent calendar before. Um, <clears throat> so there's 13 mini puzzles. Of course, it has to be 13. There are 150 pieces. And I'm super looking forward to doing these. Um, I will do a short every day with these um, and an Instagram reel or whatever. So be on the lookout at least for, at minimum, a shorts video every day so that I can show you what these look like. Because <laughs> an advent calendar for Halloween, I've heard of Christmas advent calendars, but this is going to be fun. So I'm really excited. I'm, I don't want to open it until Halloween. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I don't want to open it yet. I want to wait until it's closer to Halloween. But it's going to be, these puzzles are incredible. So I know that this little advent calendar is going to be also incredible. So stay tuned, keep looking at my shorts and you'll see these puzzles in October. And this one I will definitely be doing in October also. This one is probably going to wait a little while and I'll put it with the other ones I have, but these two will be done for sure in October. So this is a very large box and I promise there's only one puzzle in here. So, you know, that means it's a big puzzle, right? Um, this one came all the way from, I don't know. I know it was on the other side of the world somewhere. And if you look at the box, there's a reason why I haven't opened it. <laughs> It looks like it came from overseas, right? All right, so let's get this bad boy open so you can see what's inside. Probably not quite the puzzle you were expecting out of that humongous box, <laughs> but it is the Truffle Truffle Prime 9,000 piece Disney puzzle. All right, let's see if there's a poster. Hmm. There is a piece on the outside of a bag, so that's quite never a good sign. Oh, this. So this box definitely went through some turmoil during shipping. Um, yeah, just this corner is kind of messed up, but this bag is actually open. So I'm not gonna dive into it too much right now, but these pieces are very tiny. Um, very tiny. And I've done some puzzles with the tiny pieces. And for me, they're a little challenging to do in here because I'm leaning over trying to see what the picture is of these little tiny pieces. So this one probably won't get time lapsed, unfortunately. I have two 2000 piece Disney puzzles that I bought from the happiest puzzles on earth, one of my favorite stores. And they are also the little tiny pieces. Uh, they're from Tenyo, and I haven't put those together yet, um, but I'm probably going to wind up doing those on a different board and different lighting to where I don't have to quite bend over so much because um, the little tiny pieces bending over super killer on your back. But there is a poster, and I'm not going to mess with anything else in here since that bag is open. Despite that there's a bag open, I don't think anything has fallen out because there's no holes in the box. So I think we're going to be, you know, safe and fine. Not super worried about it. I'll just start with that bag first. With this puzzle, there's six 1500 piece sections and you can do it as six individual puzzles, um, which Either way, I'm probably going to do it section by section anyway, because the pieces are so tiny. Um, but you can remove the external border and then connect all of them together, which is actually very cool. And it kind of looks like you can actually connect other puzzles together. So it says 9,000, 9, 13, 13. Um, I'll have to look into that because that's very interesting if you if they had other puzzles that you could connect. Yeah, that's kind of interesting, which I'm, ass I'm assuming you probably could anyway because they're probably the same cut. The reason why I got this puzzle is because I saw on Facebook that it was on sale. So for a 9,000 piece puzzle, you would expect to pay, you know, I don't know, at least 150 and I Pretty sure this puzzle was running 100 to 150. I can't remember the exact price, but I got it for 64 on Amazon. So when I see a, you know, when I see a deal like that, you kind of have to buy it. And I love Disney. So, and even if I just go section by section, it's fine. And then, but I will connect them all together. Yeah, so this one, it's going to be, I've seen pictures of it. It looks gorgeous. So that was the first big puzzle. I showed you the 5,000 piece puzzle and I have one more. We all have a unicorn puzzle and this was mine. It's 
Sorry. This was my unicorn puzzle. I could only find it on like eBay for a thousand dollars or seven hundred and fifty. And um I think it was around May, someone on Instagram had messaged me and said that they found this puzzle brand new on a German website. So I looked, the puzzle was a great price. The shipping was expensive, but it was still half the price, more than half the price, less than what it was on eBay. I was so excited when she texted me and said that this puzzle was on a website and it was brand new. It had the shrink wrap on it. Um, the reason why it's actually opened right now is because I was using the box lid as the box for when I was doing the 5,000 piece uh, artistic Mickey because I like using box lids and this was a big box lid. I'm not sure when I'll actually start this puzzle, but I'm just super excited that I was able to find it, you know, brand new for not a million dollars. And because this is one that I definitely want to hang up somewhere. I have one wall space in the other side of the house that I can hang it. Um, so once that is clear, then I'll probably start it. Um, I don't think I'll mix it. I just don't have the space. But unicorn puzzle finally found. So I don't actually have a unicorn puzzle now, which is kind of weird. Um, I'm sure I'll find another unicorn puzzle eventually, but this was the one that I had been looking for. So I'm super excited. All right. So 18,000 piece evening walk in Paris. Um, I will post the website that I got this on in the description along with all the other puzzles that I have shown so far. Um, and keep a lookout cause you never know. Um, not too long after I purchased it, it said it was back ordered. So I don't know if they're going to get more. I don't, they're in Germany. So Robinsberger might make a special production run if they have the orders. I'm not hundred percent sure how that works, but, um, I will post the link so that maybe, you know, and they had a whole bunch of other puzzles also. So maybe you can find this one. If it is also your unicorn puzzle, um, let me know and let me know what your unicorn puzzle is because I know everybody has a unicorn puzzle or a unicorn something. <laughs> now we're going to get into something a little smaller. Um, on TikTok, I found an artist. Her name is Megan and her name is Mad Art Studio. All of these little puzzle pieces, um, they all fit together. So as she makes a puzzle piece, the, um, the art will connect with a previous piece. So see how you have the blue vine, they connect. So when you're, I bought this magnetic board specifically for these puzzles. So there's a, like a, a little forest animal and then there's some little monkeys. So they're all on the same vine. And then, now I don't know if this side, I don't know if there's a piece because she's basically making the collection as she goes. So every so often she'll, um, she'll have new pieces available and see like all these ones connect right here. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So basically every so often she'll have more pieces that come available. So you see, so far we have these five pieces down here and they all connect to make a picture. They're absolutely, or you can just put them all separately. Um, but I do plan to fill up this entire board with her pieces. If I have to get a bigger board one day, then I'll get a bigger board. But this one's pretty big. And, um, this is a pretty big board. So I'm hoping that once I put all these pieces on, you know, there will still be room for more. Um, Megan's art is absolutely beautiful. And I think this whole concept of having individual puzzle pieces with super gorgeous art, this one has a giraffe on it. Um, 
and then you take those pieces that she you know and put them all together and then she's creating new pieces probably as as i'm recording this video she's probably working on more pieces and then you know in a month you know like four more pieces will come out that you can add to your collection so it's basically the never ending puzzle as long as she keeps making pieces your puzzle is not going to end so i'm not going to put this whole puzzle together right now but what i will do is i will um put it together on this magnetic board and then um, i'll do a short or and probably a reel and an instagram and facebook post so that you can see the pieces close up and um and i will put a link to her mad art studio website in the description below so that you can actually check out her her canvas art and her pieces. I'll show you one more close up. So give Megan a follow. Um, I think you'll love following her in her van life adventures and her artistic adventures. And she does show what she's working on as far as her puzzle piece art. Um, I think it is really truly amazing what she's doing and and it's beautiful and she has some canvas prints that i was like man some of these would make gorgeous puzzles so hopefully in the future some of her bigger canvas prints will be puzzles um but we'll see so there you go puzzle piece magnets they're amazing okay so that was a lot of puzzles huh so I have one more bit of exciting news to tell you and then I will reveal how many puzzles I have in my to-do pile. So the exciting, what I think is exciting, there's a puzzle company that reached out. Uh, they're called Stuzzles, which is a story in a puzzle. So from what I understand, you put 10% of the puzzle together and it's a 500 piece puzzle. They have three so far that are going to be coming out on Kickstarter in early September. So just in a few weeks from now, and you put 10% of the puzzle together and you scan the puzzle with the app and it starts to tell you a story. And it's supposed to be a very chilling kind of paranormal story. Uh, once you do another 10%, you scan it again and it'll continue the story. Um, I will post a link to the website and the Kickstarter so that you can read more about it. They're going to send me one of the 500 piece puzzles and um, a beta version of the app so that I can actually test it out and see how it works. If I love it, then I will definitely support their Kickstarter and I will share the link. I'm really excited to be able to be part of like a, you know, a little bit of a beta, if you will, so that I can test it out and see exactly how it works. And I do plan to do stories and shorts. Um, I might come on here and talk about it again. So just be looking, you know, at my stories, subscribe, hit the button. I do post a lot of um, shorts here on YouTube lately. So just be sure to, if you are interested in this new technology and a story puzzle that's full. And I think really close to Halloween, it's going to be fantastic. I don't know when the puzzles are going to ship, but I think, um, you know, Halloween release launch with spine tingling crazy stories is going to be really fun. Be on the lookout for Stuzzles. And like I said, I will post links to their Kickstarter page and their, um, their Facebook page and their website so that you can read more about it. The last thing I have finally is how many puzzles are in my puzzle room. So I have Three shelves behind me, three shelves on that wall, a shelf over here. I have puzzles all around the top of my room. I have a stack of puzzles over there, a stack of puzzles here. Um, so when I was counting all of these, I have some bins at the top of my closet with um, puzzles that I've had for years and years that are just in bags because when I was younger, I didn't have space to actually store the boxes. So I cut the picture out and just put them in a baggie. There was a spider up there. So I stopped counting and I didn't come in this room for a couple days. 
I still never found the spider. No idea what happened to it. But it was pretty big. It wasn't a black widow, but it was black. And it ran across my table and hid under one of the bags. So when my husband came home, I made him come in here and investigate. And obviously the spider was gone. <laughs> so I still don't know where the spider went. I mean, he could be up there still, but it's been a few weeks, so hopefully he went outside. I don't, I don't know what happened to him. Uh, with my new puzzles I got today, um, I have counted 724 puzzles in my to-do pile that I have to do. Um, now, if you count puzzles that I've already done, it's it's quite a bit more um i mean i have like 13 puzzles just on my windowsill that i've done and then i have puzzles that are in these super cool puzzle saver books uh that i've done i probably have 20 years worth of puzzles in there and then that's not including all the puzzles i've given away so lifetime puzzles i don't have a clue how many i've done i mean it could be upwards of a couple thousand to be honest with you um, so I didn't buy any puzzles in 2020 and I think in early 2021, I did a count of my puzzles. So it's been, um, no, maybe it was April of 2022. I think it might've been 2020. It was my birthday anyway. Um, and I had a 344 puzzles in my to-do pile. So when I was counting, I didn't buy any puzzles in 2020 because I was too busy. I And puzzles, all the prices, they got jacked up. And I was like, um, I did buy this puzzle right before all the price jacking started, before COVID lockdown even happened. Um, I bought this puzzle probably a month prior to all of that happening. 2020, I bought, I was probably one of the only puzzle fanatics that did not buy any puzzles that year, honestly. So... In 2021, April, I did a count of all my puzzles and I had 344. And I don't know what happened in 2021 or 2022. I bought, I bought a ton of puzzles apparently because I have 700 and what I say, 724, I think, um, 724 puzzles in my like to do puzzles. <laughs> so um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but my shirt says this is my happy place. So I think it's probably a good thing. I mean, I think it's a good thing. At least it's not, you know, I'm not collecting illegal stuff. It's puzzles. <laughs> so slowly but surely I will get them all done. Um, this stack is a lot of puzzles that are, um, you know, big size puzzles. I have three 18,000 pieces plus the new one that I got, the Paris puzzle. So I have four 18,000 piece puzzles. I have a second copy of the life puzzle because that I will mix one day. It might be 10 years from now, but I'm going to mix it and do a full 24,000 piece puzzle. I have the 30,000 piece wildlife puzzle. I have the 32,000 piece Keith Herring. Um, so I know those puzzles are going to take a long time. Uh, this Mickey puzzle is actually going really fast. I'm already almost done with the second part, and I just started it last week. It's just going, like, smooth as butter. It's such a fun puzzle, and it once you start it, it's one of those puzzles that you start and you don't want to stop. So I'm really enjoying this Mickey puzzle. A lot of my other puzzles are, like, you know, 500 pieces, 1,000 pieces, so those are those go pretty quick. This Christmas, I'm going to do a lot of Christmas puzzles from Thanksgiving to Christmas. That's going to probably take out a lot of puzzles. And then I'm going to do a lot of Halloween puzzles, which is going to take out a lot of puzzles. And once I'm finishing puzzles, I'm actually starting to give them away instead of keeping the ones that I've done. Unless I'm absolutely in love with the puzzle. Like my Centennial Coca-Cola puzzle that I bought in like 1986. I'll never give that one away. Uh, some of the older puzzles I'll probably keep forever. 724 puzzles in my to-do pile. Mandy over at The Puzzled Mandy. You have a lot of catched up to do, girl. That's all I have today. 
Um, let me know what you think about the puzzles I have or, you know, puzzle hole. Let me know what you think about the stuzzles. Let me know how many puzzles you have in your collection because I'm curious. Okay, so happy puzzling to all of you and have a great day. Bye guys.